Hi, my name is Carno Nelson and I am a Professor Emeritus of Industrial and Organizational Psychology at the University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. And I want to talk to you today about the PhD in Industrial and Organizational Psychology. Our graduates who get the doctorate really have a number of options in terms of jobs. For example, we have many of our graduates that end up working in academia, at colleges and universities throughout this country, and in fact throughout the world. We have uh, some of our uh, graduates are in Turkey, um, and Lebanon, for example, in Germany. Uh, now, in academia, they actually have two different kinds of jobs they do. One is in psychology departments, the other is in colleges of business and management departments. And we have students in both. Uh, one of my recent student, uh, grad, doctoral students, for example, just took a job at a business school out on the West Coast. So again, let me reiterate that students going in, in a, who go into academia, teach, do research. These students can either be in psychology departments or in business schools in college of ma in, in uh, departments of management. We also have a number of students that go into consulting firms. These firms provide research and services to companies uh, and government uh, throughout the United States, in fact, worldwide. Uh, a student there might be involved in a project involving selection how better to select employees might be involved in a project, for example, on developing a new system to uh, appraise the performance, how well people are doing on a job. A third area where our students go, uh, are employed is um, in companies themselves, places like AT&T, Procter & Gamble, uh, Raymond James, for example, all of these companies, we've had graduates uh, working there. Here again, they do the gamut, or a large part, of research uh, uh, dealing with human resources. Again, selection, performance appraisal. Uh, they may have training pro developed training programs and have to evaluate them. So this is really the three major areas then where our students go. Academia, which can be either uh, business or psychology, consulting firms, and finally in major corporations. Our students typically take somewhere between five and six years to complete their doctorate from a bachelor's degree, assuming they are going to school full-time. Our coursework really, to a certain extent, is geared by the interest of the student. But one of the things that is constant in any I.O. program is that you are going to have a number of courses in statistics and methodology because frankly that is our bread and butter. We are researchers, we look at problems in a research way, we need to have the tools to do research. So all of our students take anywhere that varies on three to five courses in various statistical and methodological areas. Beyond that, students will tend to take courses in specific areas that are covered in I.O. They may take a selection course. They may take a course, for example, in job analysis. How do you analyze what a person is doing on a job? Or they may take a course, for example, in training, uh, job satisfaction, which is how people are, how satisfied people are about their jobs, to what extent, 
are they satisfied, what are the factors that make them satisfied. We may do work in what we call organizational citizenship behavior. What are those things beyond what the job requires that people do? Why do they do that? What is the impact of all of that? Another area that we're very much involved in now in I.O. psychology is organizational health and safety. How can we make the uh, workplace safer? And also, part of it is healthier. One of the things we find is that people on jobs are stressed. What can we do to prevent people from being so stressed on jobs? This is an area that has become very uh, big, if you will, in the field of industrial psychology. If you're interested in this area, when you apply to graduate school, schools really look at a number of things. One, are your grades? Two, are your scores on the graduate record exam? Three, are letters of recommendation? And four, what kinds of research experience have you had? One of the things I always tell undergraduates, get involved in research early. Faculty and graduate students are always looking for great undergraduates to help them on their research. This is important for you for two reasons. First of all, you really get a feel for what research is and whether you really like research. Because if you don't like research, this isn't for you. On the other hand, in addition, it provides you with strong letters of recommendation, great experiences, so that when you get to graduate school, you do your master's thesis, you do a doctoral dissertation, you have background already that will help you. So, to repeat, you have to have great grades, really good scores on the GRE, strong letters of recommendation, and finally, get involved in research.